This is News 8 Now. Well, many of us know our children's IQ, their intelligent quotient, indicates mental abilities. But did you know their PQ? Well, it's a child's play quotient, and it predicts how well they'll attain their physical, creative, and intellectual potentials. Child development expert Steve Ann Auerbach, a.k.a. Dr. Toy, knows the importance of child's play and toys. Her latest book is Smart Play, Smart Toys, How to Raise a Child with a High PQ. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank Look at this cute fingers. little teddy bear you gave me. You know, you know, it's important that parents and children play together. And puppets are a good and way to do it. It's a good way to do it, reading to them and adding the puppets. And I've got some wonderful you products some with me that are educational, that are creative and fun. And what I really am talking about is that parents understand that they're the child's first big toy. Right. And you really have to play and interact with your children. So the toy is not a substitute for your having a good time together. So you can't just leave the child there with a toy and walk out of the room. No. You have to be there with Play the with them. They have to learn the rules of the board game and play with them. Um, play the games, learn how to do these things together. So I want to show you some of the yeah, toys. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you what PQ is, yeah. first of all. I play mean, I know I mentioned it right yeah. there, but is this something new? I mean, we, I haven't well, really heard I, about it before. I've been looking at the area of play for 30 years, and we look at IQ, we look at emotional Q, we know that children learn different ways. Play quotient is a really important part of development. And you can and tell about your child about the way they play? Yes, because some children are very aggressive, and right. some children are little bullies, sometimes they're very shy. It's so interesting, ways that they play. because I have two daughters, one is seven, one is three, and one of them, the younger one, loves to play with puzzles and is very good at it. Right. My right. older daughter never played with puzzles, so what does that say? It, does, it says that she has maybe had the experience of doing it. Now, uh -huh. this is a game, a puzzle, that all of you can play together. Right. And it's one of the ones that I've uh, looked at this year. There are nine pieces but it is perfect for the three to to adults right and you put the pieces together the one who doesn't play with a puzzle maybe just hasn't had an opportunity to do that Enough exposure so this is something you can do together so puzzles are a good way wonderful way and these these are scramble squares all of these are on my website I've been reviewing products for a long time and I find products like these are eight dollars mm -hmm. There information on the back. Right. There's a lot of good. But what about the puzzles that act interlock with one another? Are That's those, another those puzzles type are of good puzzle, too. Right, right. Exactly. I'm, okay. I'm using these as examples. If okay. you're going to go on, get interested in puzzles, then you go on and look for other puzzles. The same way with games. I'm looking at geography and reading. This is a great a puzzle Wonderful. map. So exactly. they can learn the states as well as learning how to put a puzzle together. And reading together. Reading, so right. this is from Learning Resources. Mm -hmm. And then another game, which is really fun, called Teddy. And there are 48 different games in Teddy, and that's by Educational Insights. And both these companies have a really good line of products that are educational, so that you, know, you can do these things at home that help the child learn and expand what they do in school because all the learning doesn't take place in school Absolutely. and you have to do this toy creators by university games and your girls and you can put together make new toys they oh, can create that's it cute. and after they make it they can put it in the water and it changes color oh. so it's really really nice now the little nice puppets trip. are a great great way it's great for your Fantastic. imagination exactly you can learn so much about your skills. kids you learn how to, to develop your communication skills right. you learn how to talk and share and this is a, a sequoia tree by oh, a company called Folkmanis. And there are six different little puppets that go with it, a blue jay and squirrel, and of course these little rabbits Rabbit, and bears. So bear. this is really a lot of fun. And then your child from two to five likes to build, and this wonderful helicopter by Mega Blocks out Blocks. of Canada is a terrific product because they're going to build, they're going to use their imagination, again, your communication skills. But play with them do right. this together so the key toys then basically are puzzles blocks puppets yes. things where they can really learn is there such a thing as a bad toy a toy you should almost not buy for your child it's well, kind of a waste of time something that's going to fall apart or getting too many things you want to find good things and use the internet as a way of getting the information before you go to the toy store but I'm going to be at uh, Learning Express in Plano today uh -huh. and I would love to answer questions and meet people between 11 and 1 and I would be there to help parents find the right toys. And you know, toys are important not just over the holidays. Right. They're important all, all year, year after long. school, weekends.
And you've been doing this for a long time. A and long you time. worked for the U.S. Department of Education, yes. so you really know what you're talking about. Sometimes I find, though, when I go into the store, that some of the it's the age on the box. It's really not appropriate. Sometimes it That's seems right. like it's beyond the child, or you exactly. know, it's a little too old. Why do they do you know, that? It's very, very important. It's general. But you have to know your own child. Right. You have to know what your child's ready for. What are they interested in? And you know between your two girls, they're different. They, they have different, different personalities. They have different styles of play. Mm -hmm. And their play quotient is different. Some of them like certain things, and the other one likes something different. So it's really important to know your own child and then just have a good time together. All right. Thank you very much for coming oh, in. Pleasure. I learned a lot. Again, the title of Dr. Toy's book is Smart Play, Smart Toys, How to Raise a Child with a High PQ. And you can find it at major bookstores everywhere. You can also meet Dr. Toy in person later on today at the Learning Express in Plano. Justin?